Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to enable the time left display on your 3D printer console. I'm using Cura 4.4 and I'm uh, printing on an Ender 3 by Creality. So there you go, simple time left display which is very useful if you're doing a long print. Um, this is just a little test miniature that I'm doing. I'll link to the um, profile on Thingiverse. But here we go, straight into it. So in Cura, you're looking for the extensions, post-processing, modify G-code, add the script, time left. Make sure that you actually tick the enable box on the right-hand side there, and then you can close that window. I would then recommend closing down Cura and actually reopening it just to make sure that everything's working. When you reopen it, go back into the extensions menu, post-processing, modify G-code, Make sure that the script that you want is showing, make sure that it's enabled, close that down, and then you're ready to import an STL file. And I'm gonna put this mage uh, miniature in, which um, is actually a really cool little model. Again, the link to that will be um, below in the description for Thingiverse. Checking my profile, make sure I've got my miniatures one in. Um, after a lot of hacking around, this is probably as, this is the one I'm most happy with. Um, 210 degrees. I'm using Eason PLA filament. I've got the cooling fan running at 85% instead of 100 because I'm finding that helps to make the layers bond together a little bit better because it doesn't harden the layers as quickly so they have time to sort of merge and melt down together. So we'll give that a slice and it is coming out. Excuse the old laptop. One hour 34 minutes. So I'll save that G code, whack it into the printer. Here's the finished result, um, which again, I'm really happy with for just, you know, NPCs. And now you can see it actually took one hour and 29 minutes on the end of three by Creality. So there you go. As simple as that. Should take you less than a minute. Happy printing. Bye.